Now, it was a great start uh, not a great start, should I say, for the year for Romeo Crennel or Scott Pioli, the coach and general manager of the Kansas City Chiefs. They are now both out of a job this week as we tape this program 11 a.m. Friday morning. Former Philadelphia Eagles coach Andy Reid looks like the man who's now going to be picked by team owner Clark Hunt to lead the Chiefs out of what many of its fans believe has been its painful football wilderness. We are not a sports station and are not a sports program, but is it fair to say, first of all, this is the biggest news story of the week in Kansas City, or as a news media, are our priorities misplaced, Bill? I don't think they are, really, because it is, as you mentioned, a big story. And the Chiefs, frankly, are a big revenue generator for the city. So there's a lot of interest, not only just from sports fans, but in the business community as well. And it is about, it is a psychological sort of psyche issue for the community, isn't it? The, the success yeah. of the of our professional sports franchises, Barbara. Oh, absolutely. I've found it riveting. The worst thing that could have happened is if they've just done nothing and let the situation sit the way it is. Yeah. Dave. Uh, I think that uh, there is a danger to all of the enthusiasm that we're all feeling this week as we cover this story. Because I do think Barbara's right. Uh, you know, the, the community really wanted to get rid of Scott Pioli and, uh, and uh, Romeo Cornell. But uh, just as disappointed as the community was in, the, in the, that situation, expectations of a cure overnight may be a little bit higher than they need to be. I remember in television all the time, Nick, they'd say, well, our ratings are down, let's change the anchor, change the set, and suddenly that will explode in viewership. It's more complicated than that, and so is professional football, any sports franchise of any sport. And so I think we should temper our enthusiasm with an understanding that it's going to take a while for this team to bounce back from a horrible, horrible season. But as we start a brand new year, people were looking for change. This is a good start to a new year for this metropolitan area then? Right. Well, for a lot of people outside of Kansas City, they may not identify the city the most with the Chiefs, but those of us who live here, the Chiefs are our identity. But I'll go back to the media coverage of this. It's kind of an indictment of us. It's not the most important story for the city, but the resources we as a media give to this is kind of shameful. If we were giving this kind of resources to other stories, more important stories, the economy, the crime rate, the murder rate in the city, maybe there could be some positive change effective instead of covering sports but I would have to say that you know this traditionally is a very slow news time of the year during the holidays and so there is a good likelihood that because of that this did take a much higher profile had it happened at a different point in the year and so you know I'm not really sure that it was totally out of balance I agree with what Stacy says there are other important stories out there but they they will start surfacing as as the year goes forward Barbara if you take a look at the most read items on Kansas City Dot com. I mean, day in, day out, it's usually sports. <laughs> you know, people, it's, they're just a magnet. Well, well the other thing I would throw in is that the idea that somehow the media doesn't cover murders is probably a little bit of a stretch. I worked in television, and every murder gets covered a lot. In fact, as Stacy knows, one of the criticisms of local media is that we spend too much time covering murders. What we don't cover, and I think what he's talking about is, we don't cover the root causes of it. We don't talk mm -hmm. about the way to address the problem of, of okay, a high well, rate, which we're going to okay, get into in a minute. The resources put into covering this story from every angle and aspect are far greater than we do a murder. A murder, whether it's in the paper, or whether it's on my television station or the other three, is simply somebody's name, where it happened, and then it's gone. We don't get into real social issues like we should in the media like we will in sports. And I don't care what time of the year this was covered. This is the Chiefs. The media is going to cover it because more people in the city do care about the Chiefs than they do someone getting killed on the east side. That's a fact, but a sad fact of reality.